this video will be different than the regular type of videos I normally make. Uh, today I'm going to do a review of the book Queen's Shadow, written by E.K. Johnston, who also authored the Star Wars book um, about Ahsoka, Ahsoka Tano. Um, this book is basically about uh, how a Padme joins the Senate and about one of her ha uh, handmaidens uh, that she has uh, named Sabe. Now, I'm going to try avoiding most spoilers, but I'll give a little bit of background and what I enjoyed about it and what I think about the book. Uh, the book detail is going to details about how she meets uh, uh, Mina Bonateri from Onderon and Senator Clovis from um, from Scipio. Uh, he works for the uh, for the banking clan for the Mun. Um, these characters are seen in the Clone Wars animated series, and this gives background on how she knows them. So, in the series, it, it makes a little more sense. There is a, a difference in the story here than what was outlined in Clone Wars, or at least a, a line in Clone Wars. It, it, um, there's an implication that she's known Mina Bonetary since she was young, but here she first meets Mina Bonetary when she first goes to Sen Senate. So, it could be interpreted that it's more of a you know, young in nature, young in spirit, when she's new to the new to the job. Um, also, uh, the the Rodian senator Far is also mentioned in the book, who is a, a good friend of her family, and known by her father. Sorry, my copy got knocked over. The cat has climbed to the table. Um, another thing about it, the book details how she. Makes her alliances and becomes friends with Bail, both Bail Organa and Mon Mothma, who we had we have seen in both uh, Attack of the Clones and in Revenge of the Sith. How she knows them and how they get along in their first meeting and their interactions. Um, the book has a very nice has a nice style. It'll focus on either first a chapter about Padme and how she's doing, and then it focuses on then the chapters will go on to focus. Uh, about Sabe from another point of view. And Sabe is one of her handmaidens that we see in Phantom Menace. And uh, Sabe continues to help Amidala later on through the storyline. Each, there are five different sections in the book. Each one with a set of chapters detailing a um, set of events for important uh, story resolutions and certain facts. So you would have the first chapter about how she gets that, how she gets to the Senate and her first interactions and how she and about settling in and then there's a chapter then there's a section about some of the things she accomplishes and the goals and how she goes about her things. Again, I don't want to give a spoiler, so I'm trying to avoid those kind of details. Um, one of the things that's nice about it, it does talk about uh, um, the purpose of the handmaidens, it talks about their training, their skills they have, what they're used for, how they work, um, it gives detailed background of of, the, of what their qualifications are and what each and every one's purpose is. And there is a good breakdown about a lot of the outfits she wears. So there's a lot of details. And, you know, as anybody who's familiar with the prequels, uh, 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 Padme wears a lot of outfits. But the book ex explains on what their functions are, talks about the various protections inside them, and how... The outfits are all specially tailored in what they're for. The for the the Naboo um, ornamentation, as you can see, ornamentation and decorations are extremely important. They are an artistic culture, and everything they do is artistic. So, the the expression of the outfits and everything is inherently with their culture. And there is also a so there is also also that. And there is some background of, of, uh, in the new canon of how Naboo is. Like I said, it talks about how they are a culture. Talks about how the the monarchy, how they have their monarchy, how it's an elected monarchy. Monarchy. It talks about um, the, how the people are mostly pacifists, but after dealing with uh, uh, the Nemoidians and the Trade Federation, how some there are some changes. And how there are personal conflicts about how how people make their various views, so it has a good, has some good world building and some back some backs uh, backstory, which you know for the new canon is always good to have the new backstory. Um, 
in conclusion, though, I, I fairly enjoyed the book. I, um, I've had it for some time, and it had been sitting on a shelf, and I picked it up two nights ago. And I started reading it, and um, I've quite enjoyed the way it worked. It's a, um, it might not be all in a, uh, for an older adult book. I think it might be made for, I'm going to, you know, maybe intended for um, teen readers or, or for, a, for a younger age group. And, but I found it was a pretty good story. It uh, was relatively enjoyable. Had nice pacing. I had, I said, not read uh, uh, this author before. I did not know, but I will. I believe I have. A, we have a copy of Ahsoka around the house, so I will definitely decide to crack that open and take a look at that to see the story of it. And it is. It's nice to see, have a good retreat back to Padme, um, and we get a feeling of of the character, and it goes to highlight of, of what a solid character she was, and how she was very. Strong, independent, um, and um, fairly well-rounded. It, it talks about her, her, the her her traits, her, her strong traits, and it does it highlight a few of her flaws. But in essence, it it is a good book, and it's a nice read. Um, I said I I read it fairly rapidly, so take it as you take it as what you will, and um, I hope that you know it may inspire somebody to take a. A second look and enjoy the book and you know maybe they have pass it for maybe a set i know you thought about it so anyways uh this is my review of again it's uh queen shadow i'm gonna start for star wars and it's by ek johnson and just to make it this is takes place between episode one between episode one family menace and the and episode two attack the clones so if you are uh an older republic fan if you are the prequel fan this is a a very good book for you. You may particularly enjoy. It gave me some introspections that I had not thought of before. So, I said, I hope you enjoy the book. Take a look and have a nice evening.